Ladies and gentlemen, I have not taken a day off since August 13th, and since then I've made 70 videos. This is number 71. Also, yeah, I got a September fundraiser going on, and I'm hoping to raise money tonight and tomorrow afternoon before I head out to take a half a day off. I'm going to the ocean. I'm going to see a friend's band play. And I have set my will on drinking two $10 strawberry daiquiris. Though I reserve the right to change my mind and have switched to beer if that is what I choose in the moment. Anyway, it is late night Friday to one of the wildest, weirdest weeks we have ever known. You know, the august 27th period that i warned about up until now um yep yep things are crazy i don't know what i'm necessarily going to talk about i just know that things are super crazy and i sure wish we would work together as a team hey i got a great idea why don't republicans and democrats unite and work together and inform and teach people how to avoid unwanted pregnancies it's like a weird Jenga game of subjects that people get extremely polarized about all the time. It's like one crazy thing after another. And September really kicks off like the spooky season vibe, you know, autumn. And that leads the spooky energy, you know, like horror films and stuff. Really creepy, mystical, occultish, sometimes dark magic stuff builds up into Halloween. And it's very weird. It's very strange, and it can be an uncomfortable energy, for sure. And so, like, that energy was introduced at the start of September, and will and we'll now build up until, uh, you know, October 31st. And so, I just highly recommend everybody stay cool, be cool, and know that the fall and winter are going to be very challenging. I'm pretty sure. And it's just going to keep getting weirder and wilder. And the people determined to fight and argue with each other are going to be determined to fight and argue with each other. And in the meantime, they're going to be putting up a record number of satellites while they're printing digital currency like crazy. And the fear currency. We knew that, but they've been doing that for a while. Adding a whole new type of non-nation connected currency is really a new thing. Brand new, man. And so... I'm trying to segue my brain into party mode, as odd as that may sound, because I would like to have a good time tomorrow night, drinking my daiquiris by the ocean, but I'm still here watching Larry and watching future Mindy and watching the world kind of catch on fire and explode and flood at the same time and so what i'm telling you is what i'm telling myself it was just hang in there stay cool step up your prayer game and keep a sense of humor and i'm gonna dare to be an optimist that things will get better by the spring of 2022 and if larry or mindy heads towards the usa then People won't really find out about it until after Labor Day weekend. And does anybody remember last year's hurricane season? It was mainly about tropical storms. We did get hit with a couple hurricanes. But once they started, it just came wave after wave after wave after wave after wave. And so Larry's crazy looking. But the more concerning clear and present possibility is Mindy. And so on the latest GFS... It is suggesting that Mindy makes it past the Gulf of Mexico wind shear and past the dry air enough to form as a tropical storm that catches on to the giant storm that goes along the coast as a, as a tropical storm. Like right there, boom. And then it catches on to the whole thing and it almost meets up with Larry. Once again, Larry has shifted more to the west. It's still not a threat to land but it has shifted quite a bit 
to the lower and to the west. So, what is it? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. And this must be some weird George W. Bush 9-11 reference. And so, if Mindy did become a tropical storm or even a hurricane, against all odds, asterisk, right there, the euro is also agreeing that it's going to be something. That would happen around the 9th, which is going to be like five days away. And then see how they're almost two converging together? And then they look like really crazy, crazy, spooky eyes. Look, you know? Mindy and Larry form crazy, spooky eyes. And so, you know, I don't know. And so everything is wild and nuts, and borderline insane. And it's really all very, very dangerous. And so I still recommend everybody play maximum defense. How come no one ever wants a truce? Anyway, the news is bad. Um, the bishop talking about how we had 302 coronavirus deaths today in Texas. So that's 963 deaths in Texas in the last three days that is a lot and peak texan deaths from covid were january 8th 2021 and that was at 467 and so we're really not that far away from having this wave be like let's say the last the winter wave was category three coronavirus hurricane this could be a category four or five coronavirus hurricane. I've talked about this many times about how one of worst case scenario, people seem to really be underestimating and you know, governments aren't really that I've always said, if they're going to fudge the numbers, it's to the downside, bro. Anyway, Lori Garrett, ICUs are full. Hospitals are doing triage. COVID-19 is overwhelming entire medical systems, but suddenly data is disappearing. Like Florida just started getting super sketchy with the data like 14 days ago. Some governors think the best way to minimize the pandemic is to stop posting numbers of the sick and dead on official websites. So it's just all freaking nuts and yet dangerous because this has been ripping through Texas. I can verify that totally. But after spending the last 18 days or not more locked up in my apartment, I am going to try to wander out from my apartment with my car um, and drive from Houston to a marina to go see my friend's band play and drink two strawberry daiquiris. Huh. And see the sunset and see Jupiter and Saturn and Venus in the same sky and the ocean. And But yeah, it's going to be dangerous. I'm going to hope and pray that my two Mo Va Moderna vaccine shots hold up and I don't get the virus. I'm pretty sure I won't be bringing it there. But I'm playing good defense. Anywho, I'm just saying, yeah, these are crazy days. Oh, and I'm having a fundraiser September. Like I said, I worked so many days in a row, made 70 videos, gave everybody super warning on, well, the warning for Ida was only average for me, if that warning on the New York, New Jersey storm, I did pretty good though. Anyway, but look how much the storm projections have changed on even Larry. This is supposed to be September 6th, and this is the projection tonight. Look at Larry here, and then this will be three days ago and so look at the difference wait no it's the wrong one okay that was the august 28th that was where they predicted larry would be he would be slow and high and they were just like oh he's going straight curving out to sea and this is today boom you now so six days look at how the it's changed does that make sense like uh, so this is where they thought it would be today. And that is where it is. It's a whole lot farther to the west. And it's a whole lot souther. And that's not even the real act. That's projected for 48 hours from now. And so, you know, here's where Larry actually is. And so they're projecting 48 hours. He'll be like here. And, you know, what? so it's just... I'm not trying to fear monger or anybody. Look at all this moisture coming out. Southwest Airlines passenger who allegedly knocked off flight attendant's teeth in viral altercation faces two felony charges. Yeah, people are just losing their minds. Like, you never really heard about this ever happening, and now it's a weekly occurrence. Utah tornado. Yep. 
Yeah, it's unusual. Utah tornado. The tornado that impacted Woods Cross and North Salt Lake yesterday has preliminary been classified as a PEF1. Hutton. Utah tornado. So yeah, what a crazy, crazy August. What a crazy, crazy first three days of September. If there ever was going to be a time for me to cut loose and have a little fun, the time is now. And hopefully, I can get a little fundraising boost between now and 7.30 p.m. tomorrow. Enough to buy some more d'oeuvres. More d'oeuvres sound good. Yeah, Larry's a major hurricane. So that's like two major hurricanes in a week. Hurricane season is really about to start to rev up. And I know I've been warning about, I would, if I had to guess, pick, I would say right around October 13th, we're probably going to get hit with a, a big hurricane again. Um, and so that is a major warning date. And anytime between now and then, we just have to be on high alert, bro. And it's just wild that we're, it seems like we're handling coronavirus worse in 2020 than we were in 2021. Wait, flip what I just said. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a weird Jedi vibe and then call off going to the ocean tomorrow. But I'll probably go. No matter what. Like I said, I'll probably just risk it. Like my sanity needs to get out of the foxhole. Get out there. Maybe even dance a little. I don't care how fat or goofy looking I am. I need to just do some spooky action Jackson shit, you know? And I've been saying, I don't know, you got about like a week window to try and get in maximum fun. And then it's Definitely going to keep on, just keep it on, getting cray-cray. Oh, man. And so, oh, I, and I got to say, one of the things I'm worried about is I'm running out of stuff to watch during the pandemic because I need comedy pumped into my veins like 24-7 so I can maintain a sense of humor. Anywho, there's a new show called Only Murders in the Building with Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. If you haven't watched it yet, it's on Hulu. It's really, really funny. I've seen the three episodes. And I think episode three made me laugh 15 times. It's really, really funny. I highly recommend it. Even though she didn't like my birthday song. That was so weird. And I, I know it's not legal for me to say, you know, women can be strange at times and almost impossible to figure out. But I know I can't say that, but if I could, I would. Maybe someday. They used to have an old saying, you can't live with them, can't live without them. It was probably the patriarch who said that. Tut tut. Uh, see, now we're even talking about the, the next two waves to come off of Larry. Like, yeah, it's about to get freaking nuts, bro. <sighs> you knew that. We knew that. We need some more divine intervention. Let's step up our prayer game. Sound good? So if it were like a movie, we could, you know, the leading heroes and heroettes could be like, hey, let's all calm down, pull our heads out of our ass, and figure out what we got to do to get to the next year. Or eight months. You know, arguing, yelling at each other and winning social media rage points isn't really helping out. We've tried that for a year and eight months. Let's try some new shit, man. Let's try some damn teamwork. And I got to say, it is so absurd. I don't know, just the idea of the... So we do have a raging pandemic. We're up to like, we're averaging over 1,500 coronavirus deaths a days again. Like Oscar De La Hoya. We got went to the hospital and he was double vaccinated. So, but like this, I don't know the idea of just us all trying to do these major sports games in the middle of the while the the rage period. I don't know it's it's all I'm doing my best. You do your best. Like I said, I played super defense. I'm gonna take one risky night. I don't plan to talk to anyone I don't know unless they're beautiful and come up to me. Other than my waitress, who's gonna be like two strawberry daiquiris, and then hopefully. I'll get an appetizer. <laughs> I even checked out the menu a couple times. That's how desperate I am. I'm like a dog who hasn't been walked, and then I get to go get in the car, and then I'm going to stick my head out the window, and they'll help me driving. Yeah, I want to get... Dude, check this out. So you got, boom, two strawberry daiquiris, 20 bucks. I love the West Bay Berry. If I was adventurous, I could try that. But like, if, even if I was just going to get an appetizer, it would be spicy wings, 11 bucks? I don't know. Seafood nachos. Boudine, Boudine, did I say that right? Um, but like this place is mildly fancy. 44 bucks for filet mignon or 70 bucks. Chicken fried steak, that sounds expensive. But hey, in a bright spot, 
So we'll have a look at the visible disk as we start the weekend, both AR2863 in the southeast quadrant and AR2864 in the northeast quadrant are mostly stable and non-threatening at this time. Possibly three new regions, baby, are trying to form sunspots and will be monitored. I'll monitor your face. That's what we need the sun to pick it up and give us more good energy. What was that weird flash? Okay, great. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. Caldo fire. And the fires in the West Coast really aren't getting the media attention they should. And so I'll just keep monitoring all the shiz, man, until I leave. Oh, I don't know. I might even drive along the coast. We'll see. I'm kind of excited. I got to do laundry. I haven't had dinner tonight. And I'm out of food. I need to go get fast food. I might get Jack in the Box or Whataburger or I might just eat a can of beans. I don't know cooked all my eggs anyway now i'm just rambling in my foxhole in my foxhole hey at least i know the dangers when i go out all right and the worst thing is asterisk that reminds me of a vagina all right all right i hope you have a great night you can contribute if you want i don't know you can unsubscribe if you want you can even down thumbs if you want technically you can do all three i'll be here doing what i do until i go to the ocean and i might take sunday off we'll see though but hey, if you do want to contribute, you can send me a cool letter in the mail. I really appreciate those. And you can send a contribution to PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. I really appreciate those as well. I've only got $578 left to raise in September to meet the goal. And I can shut up about money until right before the next month, which is October. But definitely, thank you very, 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 very much to everybody out there. You guys are awesome. And I do think we'll make it through to spring 2022 and then things will get better. But we got to be smart, play good defense, and get a little lucky. You know what I'm talking about? And let's step up our prayer game. Pretty please? Okay. Thank you to Mike for all the healing and staying cool and being cool. And thank you to the Wizard of Oz. Thank you to the Texas Angel. Thank you to Barbara. Thank you to Alex. Thank you to Alexis. Thank you to Arnica. Thank you to Ann. Thank you to KJ. Thank you to Max. Thank you to Lauren. Thank you to Daryl. Thank you to Brian. Thank you to Dan. Thank you to Marlita. Thank you to Richard. Thank you to Light Soul. Thank you to Glenda. Thank you to Matthew. Thank you to Bryce. Thank you to Charles. Thank you to Tracy. Thank you to Nancy. Thank you to Pink Wolf. Girl. Thank you to Dave. Thank you to Cody. Thank you to Greg. Thank you to John. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to Mad Motifs. Thank you to Andrea. Thank you to Darlene. Thank you to Ed. And thank you to JJ. And thank you to everybody out there that is cool and in Astro Fight Club, even not Astro Fight Club. <sighs> let's try to have a great weekend, okay? But let's be prepared for some hurricane shit starting next week and the week after that, and then maybe the week after that, and then maybe the weekend after that. Okay, great. God bless everyone.